June 1957, Washington, D.C. The Atomic Energy Commission establishes a program called Project Plowshare, which sounds like a 1950s version of ride-sharing for farmers, but was actually a series of experiments designed to test the peaceful application of nuclear weapons. Uh, huh? You see, the U.S. government had a problem on its hands in the 50s. It liked nuclear weapons, particularly in light of their recent ability to end World War II. The American people, though, were not so hot on them, particularly in light of the ever-threatening Cold War and the growing possibility of being incinerated at any moment. So how do you resolve this? Well, by taking a page out of Chipotle's playbook and embarking on a massive PR campaign. Except instead of giving away free burritos, you use nukes in helpful ways, such as in creating canals and highways or in the production of fossil fuels or in excavating rock for mining. Sure, there's the whole issue of, I don't know, radiation, but that can be fixed by conducting the experiments in remote locations or moving locals away for 10,000 years. Needing something positive to get the ball rolling, the AEC proposed creating an artificial harbor on Alaska's remote Cape Thompson. Called Project Chariot, it would use five thermonuclear devices buried deep within the ground to create a channel 1,800 feet long and 750 feet wide. Aside from it being clutch as f the harbor would be within striking distance of massive coal and oil deposits, so there was some commercial potential in the project as well. Then problems arose, and by problems we mean evidence that the radiation from the blast would devastate the surrounding ecosystem. Nearby indigenous peoples weren't thrilled at the prospect of this, and then the Sierra Club got involved, and Project Chariot was indefinitely put on hold, marking perhaps the first and only time in U.S. history that indigenous people didn't get screwed. <laughs> Well, until the government secretly buried radioactive waste in the area and wasn't discovered for 30 years. All in all, Project Plowshare saw 26 peaceful nuclear detonation tests before it was finally defunded in 1977 due to public uneasiness over, I don't know, radiation. Such projects have never been undertaken again, at least not that we know of. What peaceful ways would you use nuclear weapons? Let us know in the comments, and make sure to check out Raider Red's new documentary, Black Rock Blues, out now on our YouTube channel. This is Winkler.